Them boys is toasty. Two, steak quesadillas, which we've never had from Chipotle Mexican Grill. I know, I know, I know. We've never had it, and people that have are like, what do you mean? Well, now you know. Acquired today, jump cut. Parking in Chicago. Trying to find parking in this large city is borderline impossible. Yo, break my window. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trade me. I'll trade you. Trade. A trade. Good. That gave us a little bit of time to cool down the, the Dillas. The Dillas. I'm going to door this bitch. Ready? Three, hey, two, three, one. one. Doored! When I'm on my skateboard, dude, that's all I think about me is too. getting doored. I'm that so, will be the death of me. I'm so nervous that it's not going to be like the full door open where you fly into it and flip. It'll I'm be fine the, with that. It'll slice me open. Yeah, I, I am sure it's going to go directly into my like sternum here and just When you're on your me. bike? Oof, yeah. It's terrifying. Uh, anyway. Happy hello. Thoughts, happy thoughts. Go to a happy place. So like we said, haven't ever had this before. I kind of had. I'm a fat American. I've gone to Chipotle and done the quesarito where you order a quesadilla okay. and then use the quesadilla as your tortilla to hold the burrito, which is an incredible thing so that you can So that's the take. secret menu item? That's the secret menu item is you take a quesadilla, you put some meat and sour cream and cheese and beans and everything, and then you roll up a quesadilla into a burrito. <laughs> Pretty amazing. I can't help but think of the Super Troopers line. I'll take a chinchilla! <laughs> yeah, Chief, I'll take a chinchilla! <laughs> I don't get it. Tacos? They think I'm Mexican. I heard the second one suck. Oh no. That was my exact reaction because I was excited for it. Although I don't necessarily trust the person on Facebook who said that. Shut up, Diane. Dude, I live right by Rush Hospital. Uh -huh. So all night long. Oh, I bet. Ambulance yeah. City, dude. People just getting <laughs> smacked up! Oh, <laughs> in the ambulance? <laughs> Good luck! Hope everything works out! Hope you have insurance or that's gonna be an expensive <laughs> cab ride! Unless you make monthly payments with interest! You came here for food, food will give you. Take them through it. Alright, this is gonna be one of the more boring ones I have to assume because... <laughs> yeah. It's a quesadilla! Oh wow! It's huge. I don't want to try to open it. Right. But there's steak in there and there's cheese in there. Take my word for it or wait till Sean takes a bite and then it shows you his teeth marks. <laughs> yeah, which I will be doing. <laughs> also they asked us if we wanted anything in cups on the side. I got us both the hottest salsa. Super smart move. That one's leaking so I'm going to keep it on the tray. Oh, I thought you were going to say so I'm going to hand that one to you. <laughs> <laughs> this one's better. Like, look oh, on the yeah. screen there. Look how Dude, huge they're so looks. greasy. Yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. Sorry you guys might have to see my cuticles. Don't. It's Corey Close Wagner. in on that screen. Don't His blow cuticles it. are toes. Ugh. Dude, this thing is so massive. It's huge. It's gotta be good. Starting to leak. It's gotta be good. Nope. No. I hate that. It, it's gotta be good. Are you doing that because it's May and you no, saw I, some stupid you, people on Twitter? Did you hear me say it? Did you hear me say the one you hate? It's gonna be May. Or did I change it and make it better? You do kind of look sorry like for, Justin. Sorry for throwing a trigger out there for you. you do. I, can, I can tell you, you were triggered by that one. You do kind of look like Justin Timberlake. It's gonna be May. That's what everybody gonna, tells me. How are you gonna take a bite of this thing? I'm just gonna go straight for the middle. Really? Middle out. That's what I do with quesadillas. Oh, I, that's how I code. Middle out coding? Mm -hmm. You've been watching uh, Silicone's Valley. Silicon Valley. The measurement that we're looking for really is the floor. This is a steak quesadilla. This would make a sick visor for a hat. They should make quesadilla hats. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever had this, if one of the other meats is better for the quesadilla. Let us know. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Steak was a good move, man. Steak's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, here's the thing. There it is. This show has allowed us to try things I would never normally get. Mm -hmm. And even though this isn't new, if I wasn't a number six with cheese co-host with you, I would never in a million years walk into no a Chipotle world. and not get a burrito. No world. So, you know, for this show, you guys, maybe you're the same way. Maybe you never get this, but now that you saw this episode, you'll give it a whirl. This is so deadly doing this in the car. This thing is a monster. Yeah, it's a meal and a half. There is a bit of a difficulty level. Oh, you're going for the pour on. Yeah, I didn't know what else to do. I'd do a dip move. I love the hot salsa from Chipotle. That's all I think I've ever gotten there. Sometimes I'll combine the hot one and also the um, oh, yeah, that's good. the pico de gallo too. I don't feel like I ever get a chance to highlight the hot sauce because it's always on the burrito. I can't really oh, wow. tell. Yeah, it's even better on the quesadilla. It's, yeah, you can taste it. It is really good. I've mm -hmm. never really like noticed that before, but on the quesadilla. Yeah, really great meat at Chipotle. The cheese is fantastic. The grease oozing through this tortilla, but the tortilla is holding strong. Mm -hmm. Wow, this thing's a beast. These are about, what, six bucks? Probably something like that. We were filming a bunch of drone footage and fun stuff today. We weren't expecting to do a food review. He was driving. I was like, dude, Dude, I, I haven't ever had one of those quesadillas. I really want to try one. So here we are. See how fast we can just like improvise and great things happen. Just keep it rolling, you know? Mm hmm. Just like Limp Biscuit said. Rolling, 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 rolling. Come on! Rolling, 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 rolling
He's directing a movie. Fred Durst? Mm-hmm. Like a, like a studio movie? Mm-hmm. How? I can't remember what it is, but I recently just saw that, like, someone said that in the world, and I was like, that really caught my attention. Yeah. I was like, directed by Fred Durst. Can you imagine? Maybe he's the Rob Zombie of, like, that, you know, genre. They were just two Midwest kids who fell in love in Iowa. This summer, directed by Limp Bizkit's lead man, Fred Durst is cornfield love. I got a feeling you're a little off on the genre. <laughs> You know, I've made claims that Fred Durst is a genius. Starring that cute girl from Kick-Ass. And, 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 and one of and one another one. And one of the kids from Stranger Things. <laughs> now I hear my arguments by Fred Durst is a genius. Yes. Did you know? This is what I heard. I've not verified this. That he was basically just a producer and was producing some like really good music and was just like, I could totally do this. Oh, and just like gave it a whirl. And he was just like, I'm just gonna pick people that I think are good. And I think I can trick America. I know what America likes. I produce this crap for him. Right. I'm just gonna fake it. That makes me even more a fan of him. Me too. I obviously already was, because did I own chocolate starfish in the hot dog flavored water? Dude, I for, sure did. For our age group, that's like, you can't even make fun of somebody for that. No. Like, people who didn't graduate in 2005 probably have no idea how big of a deal that was in like, what was that, like seventh or eighth grade or yeah. something? Everybody had that album or burned it. Mm hmm. Shout out no. if you burned CDs at your house. Mm -hmm. Comment below. I burned that. Thanks, Jimmy Metcalf, for supplying my music. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I had Because he had an older brother with a burner. Uh huh. Wow. That's you, pretty good. It's really good. Mm hmm. It would be hard for me. It would be hard for me to get this over the burrito. Yeah. Like in another setting. Right. But this is great. You want to do a couple P Town shout outs? Did you call them P Town? P Town, baby. Dude, look up. Look at the steak and cheese in there. Quick Patreon shout out to Dayown Kim. I think I'm doing that right. If I'm not, I apologize, but you're a dirty dog for 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 uh for supporting us. And mm. that's awesome. <laughs> and one final shout out to Bill Barrett. Bill Barrett was a son of a bitch. Bill Brasky was best man at my wedding. And by best man, I mean he got drunk, took a dump on the wedding cake, and made love to my wife in a water fountain. Dude, it's a perfect name for that voice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like Norm McDonald's Tex Hooper. You know how Wix.com is doing a lot of... Uh, Ooh, I don't know what that is. It's like Squarespace. Oh. And Will Ferrell's in the ad. Hi. Oh, really? I'm Kurt Hosenbeck. Is this real? Drag and drop. It's perfect. Hi, I'm Kurt Hosenbeck. He plays a character made up for just this commercial to build his website. Oh my god. Just drag and drop. It's got like YouTubers in it normally, like iJustine's in it, Rhett and Link are in it. You know who those people are? Mm -mm. So like, I've and heard then of them. and then Will Ferrell just pretending to be like a creator. He has a bald cap, he's in a pink polo, glasses, he's like in a normal living room. Dude, he's so funny. In case you guys didn't know, Will Ferrell is really funny. I'm coming out with hot takes all day. HTs. My hot takes, mm -hmm. Will Ferrell is funny, probably blowing people's minds right now. I'll give you even better hot takes. Or making you hate me. Will Ferrell is hysterical. Sean's always pushing that line, baby. He's always pushing that line. I'm telling it. Mm, dude, this is so dude, good. Dude, it is excellent. Is I mean, sure? there's something about taking cheese, meat, and frying it up in the tortilla. It just, you can't go wrong. Can I have the rest of yours? Absolutely. Mmm, that salsa is legit, dude. That's my favorite part about this whole uh, experience. Is that it? I mean, I put this hot sauce on everything, but I didn't realize it on, its, on its own how good it is. Like, this is one of the better little hot sauce salsas that I could imagine dipping a chip in. I'm sitting in a sweat box. Me inside that hot box, sweating it up. Hot box, hot box. <laughs> Out of five, red New York Yankees fitted caps. Yep. Dirt. I see what he did there. How many red New York Yankees fitted caps to give a steak quesadilla from Chipotle Mexican Grill? Corey. Excellent quesadilla. One of the best quesadillas I've had. Kills Taco Bell, destroys it. But I would not get this over a burrito, but it's still pretty good. Compared to other quesadillas, better than average. Just needed to explain my score. 3.0. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm blown away by how good this is. That's why I'm eating the rest of yours. Yeah, dude. I'm going to give it a 4.5. Wow, you are so full of shit. Compared to other quesadillas? What quesadilla is better than this? I guess. I'm comparing it to other Mexican places quesadillas. Okay, so this is strictly comparing to quesadillas? That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to compare that to a burger. Oh, I thought you were just comparing it to fast food items. Dude. Dude. You all done, Corey? All done. Hi, Biscuits. All done. Finish your homework? Yes. I used to lie about that every day. I can't ever see you sitting down and doing homework. Never. <laughs> what do you think my etiquette was? You're probably a little nerd just sitting there just, I gotta do this every day. <laughs> Trying to make everybody proud of you. I don't give a shit. You can go about the rest of your day like a Sean or like a Corey. <laughs> right. Actually, no. Work hard, do your homework. I was an idiot. Stay don't attention. be like me. Mm. Then you gotta sell your soul to the government for four years just so you can go to college. Shut up!
little sweater. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Number Six with Cheese. We're gonna drive back to his house and work on web series things. Vague. Subscribe to the channel, comment. Welcome being a sixer. If this is your first time seeing this video, welcome. There is a very awesome community of people, many of whom will get mad at me if I don't put my seatbelt on because we're driving, so I'll Ooh, do that because I respect light us you. Up. Have a great rest of your day. Brand new video tomorrow. Bye.